whether you need to remember tasks for yourself on a personal level or you have team members that need to remember events or tasks that are assigned to them having a strong calendar solution can really make a difference for how well your business operates this is Google Calendar and I'm RPG Reseller. I'm going to give you some details on how to use Google Calendar to uh, simply make your business perform better. So let's get down to it. Let's say that tomorrow I have an event that I need to remember. I will click on uh, the following day and here it is. It's highlighted and as you can see uh, there's multiple views available and this event happens at 3 a.m. the first thing I'm asked to do after I click is to say what this is perhaps my event is a product demonstration product demonstration After I've typed in my title, I will want to click on Edit Event Details. And now I'm at the screen where, of course, I put in the event details, as well as uh, I can access some of the most powerful features of Google Calendar right at the screen. Uh, the most powerful thing is the Reminders options. I can choose to receive either an email or a pop-up reminder. Uh, the pop-up will only appear if I'm logged into Google at the assigned time. Uh, I'm going to choose to have an email reminder and I want that to go out 60 minutes before my event. And perhaps I'd like another email reminder on the day before. No problem. And I'd also like to have a pop-up that shows up 15 minutes before the event again no problem and you can just keep adding reminders however any reminders that you add apply only to yourself and not to any guests we'll talk about that in a few moments let's go back to the top uh, where we can type in where the event will happen that will happen at our meeting room and then you can begin to provide an event description this is the most boring thing in my life and what's cool about the event description field is that it continues to grow as you type so you can be as verbose as you want and everything that you type will be included in an email that goes out to yourself and to all guests uh, and also that same content will be included in any reminder emails which you have scheduled one thing which I highly recommend adding to your description is a notice asking any guests to please assign personal reminders so that they do not forget this event. So I will say please set an email reminder for 60 minutes for yourself, click on the event and then look for the reminders section. Alright, uh, the number two most powerful feature about Google Calendar is that events can be set to automatically repeat. For example, I could say this is an event that uh, repeats weekly, every Wednesday, and every Saturday. And uh, it will stop repeating in the year 2012 because we all know uh, from the movie that that is when the apocalypse happens. All right, done. All right, now it's time to see the number three most powerful feature about Google Calendars, and that is that I can add as many guests as I want. And of course, they are all going to get an invitation to the event, and then they can click on one of two links in order to say, yes, I will be able to be present, I'll make this event, or they can say, no, sorry, I can't attend. And of course, all of that gets updated in real time for you so that you can see who's going to be able to make it. 
And uh, if you want your guests to be able to suggest or, or change the event time or description, maybe add some extra details to it, place a check mark here. Guests can modify event. And to add guests, just do one email address per line. Perhaps I'm going to invite Ron at Paul paulsonmark.com. That's who I will invite to my event. And I'll also invite Mandy at whatever.net add. And as I'm adding these events, uh, as I'm adding these uh, people, they show up here. And after I'm done configuring everything here, then I just have to click on save and then it will ask me if I want to send invitations to all these people or do I just want to be an office ninja uh, go ahead and click send or don't you'll be returned to your calendar view and uh, so here it is uh, product demonstration and let's assume that I was on some other random day on my calendar and all I could remember was um, part of the name of my event and I really got to find it maybe I got to update it so here is the fourth cool thing about Google Calendar uh, let's see what was that called product demonstration maybe the only word I remember was demonstration so I'll type demonstration here and then search my calendars ah there it is product demonstration so I can click here and I can say yes I'm going no I'm not or I can even uh, delete the event and of course I can go to event details click on that and I'm right back at that uh, screen where I was previously how convenient uh, let's click the back button and let's go product demonstration I just want to delete the event and now uh, if you're going to delete or modify an event in any way you can choose to uh, have your changes apply only to that one single instance or to all of them or to everything that's following uh, I'm gonna say all events in the series and of course the next thing it does is it asks me if I want to notify other guests or if I want to do this action without notifying them. I will delete without notifying guests. If you want to separate your personal and your business life, then you can add multiple calendars and then of course turn them on and off. Like for example, I have one red calendar called Clancy and one blue one called, uh, I guess this is Nanjing. And I can click here and change the color or uh, just turn this calendar off. Uh, hide this calendar from the list. And now it no longer appears on this day where I had selected it. And if you need to add that back then just click on settings and you will find out where to go. I think uh, one of the most uh, compelling reasons to adopt the use of Google Calendar uh, with your team is because not everybody is an Outlook user these days. A lot of people are discovering that Thunderbird kicks Outlook's ass. And so uh, they might not be able to receive your Outlook calendar events when you email those to them. However, uh, Google Calendar has great market penetration. Just about everybody has a Google account, and so that means they're totally eligible to use this. I like to use my calendar as a task list. Uh, for example, if there's something that I can't do today but I want to remember to do it maybe three days from now, then I'll make a task. I'll assign it for three days from now, add my reminder by email, and I will also make all of my tasks uh, repeat every two or three days. And that way a task will, uh, I'll continue to get reminders to take care of this task until I finally do so I take care of the task and then I delete my reminder uh, so 
Uh, this is useful as more than a personal calendar, more than a team calendar. It's also a really great service for managing uh, personal task lists. Now you know all the cool stuff about Google Calendar. This is RPG Reseller helping your business make more money.